Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the radial drilling machine. So, let's get started. Now, here we have a radial drilling machine. It is the biggest drilling machine which we have in the classification or the types of drilling machines. Radial drilling machines are basically used for heavy duty work that is for heavy duty drilling. It means we can drill huge amount of thickness at the same time bigger diameter and then we can drill even hard materials like for example we can drill holes in steel or even in case of cast iron easily with the help of the radial drilling machine and here is the diagram radial drilling machine consists of some basic parts like for example the base this base is a very heavy cast iron construction and it should be mounted on the floor that is this machine is not mounted on a table because the size of the machine is huge so it has to be mounted on the floor with the help of heavy foundation bolts so that during the cutting operation or we can say during the drilling operation there are huge amount of vibrations which are developed so the foundation needs to be strong and that is the base of the machine now this base also acts uh, we can say it performs two functions first of all to act as the foundation or to support the entire machine at the same time it also acts as the reservoir for the storage of coolant it means the coolant which is required for the cutting operation would be stored in this base and through the base it would be pumped onto the workpiece next after the base another part is the column So this is the column of the radial drilling machine and column contains all the electrical work like for example here we have a motor in order to drive this motor whatever the electrical energy is required that would be provided inside the column. It means column acts as the vertical member which supports the driving head at the same time it acts as the, as the storage or housing for the electrical work. Then after the column above it we have the driving motor as we can see here there is a driving motor and this driving motor would be driving or we can say moving this radial arm here we have this radial arm which would be moved up and down the column because column contains the vertical guideways as we can see here and on this vertical guideways here we have the elevating screw so the drive to this elevating screw is provided with the help of this electric motor and because of this driving motor the elevating screw moves and when it rotates screw has the property that it rotates at, as well as it translates or moves in an axial direction but when the same screw is fixed and then it is rotated then whatever thing we are keeping on the screw that moves forward or backward. So the same thing is happening over here when the motor is driving the elevating screw it drives this radial arm up and down the column so that we can adjust the height of this radial arm according to the workpiece which we are keeping onto the table. Then after that we have this table. Now table contains the T slots as we can see here. T slots are provided so that we can clamp the workpiece if the workpiece is very heavy so we can clamp it with the help of this T slot by using bolts and nuts so the bolt head goes inside these T slots and we can fix the workpiece onto this machine table and then when the workpiece is fixed here another function of the T slot is that when the coolant is passed during the cutting operation then that coolant carries the chips which are removed from the workpiece that is the material which is removed from the workpiece is carried away by the T slots and then it is recirculated through the base. It means the T slots performs two functions first is to locate the workpiece or to clamp the workpiece in a proper manner at the same time it acts as a passage for removal of chips because if we don't provide T-slots then chip would get accumulated and that would result in improper location of the workpiece so proper hole cannot be drilled 
then after that we have this radial arm as we can see here there is this radial arm which can be moved up and down the column at the same time there is another function of this radial arm that it can be swung in an angular direction the radial arm carries an added feature that it can be moved in an angular direction and when it moves in an angular direction we can drill holes at a particular angle as well so that is one more advantage of the radial drilling machine is that we can drill holes at any given particular angle so that is a function of the radial arm apart from that we have this drill head which carries the drill spindle inside which we can put the drill or we can attach the drill inside the drill spindle and then it is given rotation with the help of the motor which is used for driving this drill spindle and the speed can be adjusted with the help of this driving motor and at the same time we have these levers or here we can see it is there is an a hand wheel over here so either we can rotate the lever or the hand wheel and in that case the drill spindle can be brought closer to the workpiece that is in the downward direction we can drill the hole and then it can be sent back in its position so radial drilling machines are basically used for heavy duty work at the same time it is it carries an added advantage that apart from the movements like for example we can see the drill head can be moved in a horizontal direction along these guideways next the radial arm can be moved vertically up and down on the guideways which are provided onto the column with the help of the elevating screw so there are vertical and horizontal movements at the same time there is angular movement of the radial arm so that holes can be drilled at particular angle so in short radial drilling machine can perform more amount of functions of drilling when we compare it with any other drilling machine at the end if you all find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching